as I get to, <laughs> yeah, as soon as I get to here, let's go back down real quick. Yeah, maybe before um, I can get his arm inside my leg, he sits up on his elbow, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and wrap the guillotine, okay? I'm gonna place his trachea right here, okay? Super shallow, okay? I'm not trying to go as deep as possible. I don't wanna give him a grip to fight with by putting my arm in too deep. Okay, I just wanna set the trachea right there, okay? This hand comes around, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and roll to my back and accept the guard, okay? He doesn't get any points for this in a competition because he's in a submission, okay? And so how I adjust my legs is super important, okay? I'm trying to bend him like, a, like I'm trying to break a stick, okay? I need to put pressure on both ends of his spine, okay? The first uh, point of pressure is with our legs, okay? So I wanna have my legs down low on his hips. I want to have my top leg connected to his hip and the bottom leg secures the, the lock, okay? This is incorrect, not correct. You're not gonna have nearly as much pressure when you squeeze your legs because the bottom leg is not contributing to the pressure of the top leg. We have to put the bottom leg on top so that when I curl them together, they work together to put pressure down on his hips, okay? So here's the adjustment, boom. See how I'm curling my hamstrings and my hips are coming up? Okay, that's, that's the majority of the power for the guillotine. Now, I flex my obliques and my lat, this whole lateral chain here, lat and obliques, and I'm trying to bring my elbow to my hip. If you can connect your elbow to your hip, this person will die, right? You're never gonna get there, but that's the goal. Elbow to hip, right? This is a guillotine, okay? The French invented the guillotine. I married a French woman just because I love guillotine so much. <laughs> <laughs> but if you think about how the guillotine worked, it was a big hole in a piece of wood. You put your head inside the hole and it chopped your head off. The chopping motion is this. If you could actually get your elbow to the hip while their neck was in there, they would lose their head, all right? So instead of the chopping going down this way, it's this way, okay? Let's see here again. He sits up on his elbow. The other hand's coming under his arm. I set the trachea right on my wrist and I grab the side of my hand like this, like a seatbelt grip, like you're on their back. Okay, I go down, boom, I close the guard. Okay, I don't wanna be up here. Okay, I don't have any pressure on his hips up here. I wanna go down and then I'm gonna hamstring curl first and then obliques second. And then at the very end of the squeeze, all right, so it's legs, obliques, and then I just kind of roll, because this is what's touching his neck, so I want to kind of roll it into his neck a little bit, so I get a little twisty, a little twisty twist. It's not a twist, it's a roll, okay? You guys good with that? That's like a, the fastest guillotine explanation I've ever given, okay? But it's very important that we put that back pressure on his hips. If I had no pressure on his hips, for example, okay, and I tried to squeeze him, yeah, he's just gonna raise his hips up. He's alleviating the compression that I'm creating, okay? That's why I hate this guillotine. I hate this version of guillotine because I only have one leg up here. It's half the pressure I can create with, with two legs, okay? And he has a big opening here, so he could, he could throw his body out this way if he wanted to, right, and create some create some chaos, right? If he's, a, if he's about to tap, creating chaos is his best option, okay? So, what, something you can think about is if, if you ever land in this situation, he's, bonus, he's gonna tripod because, again, you don't have good pressure on his hips, but because he's tripod, I have the ability to find the closed guard and then stretch him out, try to put your calf right on his tailbone, okay? Lock it, hamstrings, and then elbow to hip. Okay, it's all obliques. Trying to put your elbow to your hip. Okay, let's give it a go. Right. One, two, three. Um.